What's um, like a common problem that you keep facing in the industry? I really like competition, but I feel like this industry is a bit sensitive. I feel like that? this industry was full of um, competition. No, it's not. I'll never work with anyone who I want it more for them than they want it for themselves. They have one viral video and they're coming to me and say, put me on HP's Western class. But you haven't done another video since your viral video, bro. I'm you don't want it. Talk to me about managing Philly. For this man has been on your screens for so many years entertaining you. He's got the best song to come out of the UK, this country. Why is it so difficult to come up with, with a love show? Because there's a shit if it exists. Come up with something better than that. Originality is a problem. I saw something the other day and I sent it to Javan and he was like, literally looked like one of our shows. It looked, really? like, it looked like HP's Western Class. It was, an, it was just so heartbreaking to watch. Filmed at the same location. How about that? I think I know what you're talking about. And still, it's like I'm the last of the real. It's like I'm the last of the real. Cool. Ready? Taf, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, bro. I appreciate thank you for you having me. About time. I think, um, <laughs> fun I, fact, actually. Go on. I remember when you were like on your fourth, this is when you realised like, you know, I needed to work hard to make it here, innit? Um, Amir was on like his third, third episode or something, right? I was like, oh, yeah, tough. I'd really, I'd, I'd really love you to come on the pod. I said, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Let me know when. He never reached out. <laughs> yeah, um, you got Harry Panero in here. No, 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 no. You got, you got, um, who else did you get? Rachel Bada. Who else did you get? Nella Rose. You're like, who the fuck is tough anyway? <laughs> no, no, don't. But now he's drying out of guests. Now he's like, oh, shit, I need this episode to go out. Let no, me return. No, no, I'm no. joking, I'm joking. But now, nah, I want to like switch up a bit now. It's like, it's good to get, like, um, I appreciate it, by the way. It's like, mm. kind of good to get, um, it's not just like influencers, but also people who like work in businesses or people who like mm. run channels and, you know, like CEOs and whatnot. People mm. who like mm -mm -mm. run management, basically. Hey. So it's good. I want to get more like advice, tips. Sick, man. You see what I'm, I'm saying? Here. So like, yeah, I'm here, I'm, I feel like that category of influ influencers, well, we've heard enough. So yeah. it's good to mix it up a little bit Sick. and to get, um, yeah, a balance on like Sick, the man. current scene, man. <laughs> Yeah, sin, sin, sin right now. Is it Mike catching him as well? Yeah, man, yeah. Um, it's a pleasure to have you on, man. Um, about time. But do you know, can I just say, you're not the... I think the amount of times we postponed, I don't think you even reached that level of, like, we had the amount of times we had to postpone. But actually, Entertainer, with, I think it took two years. Of postponing? Postponing. Two years. But wait, for the record, right? We're mm. supposed to do this... Two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. That's the only date we confirmed, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. <laughs> this guy. Yeah. And then two weeks ago I came back I came back from I came back from New York mm. ill. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, bro, yeah. I was ill, bro. That was the worst experience of my life. But um I came back from New York ill. And that's the only reason why we didn't do it two was weeks that, ago. Was that because um it was like the jet lag, the weather change and stuff? I don't know, you know, it was it was just I just I just I just <clears throat> caught some and then, and then it just, it just, it was just on to me. Mm -hmm. I think, I think that actually, do you know what the funny thing is? I was looking at, I was looking at my Snapchat and I think I'd posted that I was going to do three countries in three days. Mm -hmm. Um, That's I, I said three, three, con three countries and two continents in, in, in three days or something like that. Yeah. So I left like today, I went to Milan, mm -hmm. arrived, like left in the morning, like I was on my, like AM or whatever it was. Day one, we got to Milan, and then we're um, doing the. What were we doing in Milan? Oh, was I it, wanted, um, so, no, that I know Naomi what it was. Yes, yeah, I was yeah, going. Yeah. I was going with Naomi, and then got to Milan at like I want to say ten p.m. Mm. So ten a.m. One about six, we're filming, and then we we'll finish filming around like eleven. Mm. Then went straight to bed, eight, and then like five a.m. I was up. To get back to London, got back to London at five a.m. Yeah, got my suitcase packed, mm. and then five p.m. I, I was, was on a tour. flight. I was yeah. on a flight to New York. <laughs> I said he's on tour, bro. Like I was, I was moving like I'm, I'm the hottest MC in the country. First, there were no feelings at all. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like it was like, and I think all of that eventually. Do you know what it is? And and just a week before that, I just came back from Dubai as well. Yeah, yeah. And then the week before that. I'd came back. Where, where was I the week before that? Oh, I can't remember where I was mm. the week before, but I wasn't in the country the week before that mm. either. I want to say I was back in Milan, actually. Mm. I think I was back in Milan and it was the 
Fashion Week. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. I was. So, I was so talk to me about Milan. How was how was Milan? How was like Naomi Campbell? Like what what was going on there? I think Milan was cool, man. Mm. Um, I really like it. Yeah, I really like. It. I think it's 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 amazing because one of my favorite memories heavy on fashion as well. Yeah, one of my favorite memories in Milan now, like a bit cliche, but one of my favorite memories in Milan now is I was out there with Kirks at the time. Mm. Uh, big up Kirks, one of my one of my close close right hands when it comes to this content stuff as well. He's he's a good, he's a very good guy. Mm. Um, we were out in Milan and we, <laughs> I'll tell you the story as well. So he's we're now like finished. We'd finished doing the runway show mm -hmm. which was a dochi runway show we just got all the content that we needed for naomi for that and then we now went into just we're just walking around mm -hmm. milan mm -hmm. so it's like i think it was like i want to say five or six of us it was like naomi a couple of her friends the board of security blah, blah, blah whatever but we we're just like free in milan just roaming the streets right and that was one of my favorite memories and then we got to this ice cream joint that was in that was there then naomi just asked all of us like you would what flavor do you want? I, I'm I'm getting you. What flavor do you want? Mm -hmm. You know, Kirk says like, lactose and torrent. And then he looks at me, right? He goes, "If Naomi offers tough, I can't <laughs> say no. She, she, when else? When else is she gonna buy me ice cream? No. Right? So he takes it, right? And I'm looking at him. I'm, I'm laughing at him as as banter, obviously, like because she. She, she was offering everyone, like, oh, do you, do you want a drink? Do you want this? Do you want yeah, this? Yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah. this? I took ice cream. He took ice cream as well. And then we're now going back to the, going back to the hotel. Man's going there like this. He was like, it, it was worth every bite. It was worth every bite. So it was like, that was one of my favorite memories in Milan. But overall, like, I just think like Milan is a beautiful place, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's beautiful a town. Like, well. and, oh, and I've been lucky that the times I've been there, the weather has been amazing. Yeah, like, oh, no, nah, the weather has been absolutely amazing. Mm. So I've loved Milan. Um, yeah, man, it's good. Like working in IM is amazing. I think she's she's an incredible lady. Mm. Um, I really admire work ethic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I feel like she still approaches it. Like mm. it's her first time. Not first time mm. as in like nervous, but it's like it's the first gig. She, she it's the first big gig that she's ever yeah, got, yeah, yeah. and that's how she approaches it. And she just doesn't get tired, bro. Like she'll go, 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 go and go. What's, what's like the one thing you learned from Naomi? Ooh, you, you, know, you know, sometimes you think you're so, No, yeah, no, no, I've learned a lot, you know. But if I was to pick one big thing. Yeah, yeah. Hard work don't stop. Yeah, That's the yeah. one thing I would say. And the second thing is that, you know, she's a, she's a very loyal person. Mm -hmm. And, oh, actually, no. I take all of that back. And I would say the one thing that I've learned, it's not like I didn't know it but I've seen practice at the highest level mm. is listening to everyone around you. Mm. And that's what Naomi does. Like I'll give you, a, I'll give you an example, right? Um, we're doing the, um, the Dochi run runway. Mm. She'd already like done like um, her makeup and everything else. And then she's ready to go. And then like, you bear in mind, like she's, she's got the best team around her. Do you know what I mean? And, and then this other lady who was working with a different model, kind of walks up walks, walks stops where we were like just before you go for for the runway and then he looked she looked at Naomi's dress then she was like oh I think that needs to be and then one of the guys must have tried to tell her like like you don't speak to Naomi and then she was like Naomi was like no 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 go on what do you see what needs to be fixed do you know what I mean and then she was like oh yeah no maybe if we did it and then they did it and then she was like oh thank you and she's one of the most appreciative people that I've met as well especially in this whole industry. She's one of the most appreciative people that I've met. Mm. And she's, she's just got such a good heart, bro. Like, she's got really such a good heart. You see, because, like, you work hard. But, yeah. But me and her, were you like, oh, and I've, did you have that moment of like... I don't think... I, I still think I work hard, but I feel I feel like I work hard knowing... what well, I, I worked hard, or well, I still work hard now with the mentality of, like, mm. five years, 10 years, 15 years, I don't want to be blah, 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 blah. Mm. But, bro, she's been in the game for years. Yeah, bro. <laughs> and she's still working yeah, yeah, as yeah. hard as yeah, she yeah, probably yeah. did in her first year. Yeah. yeah so that course. for me just told me like the, the there's a there's levels to mm. like consist. There's hard work and there's mm. like sprints and marathons, right? Yeah. You could do 100 meters in 10, 10, 10 seconds and then you die on the line. Like, uh. <laughs> but like she would do 10, 10 kilometers an hour the whole time. Whereas like I could do like twenty, then do two, then yeah, do yeah. five, then do two. But she would just 
You know you're not surviving bleep test. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Bro, talk to me like about um from the beginning. Yeah. How did you end up at the wall? From so because I know you. Yeah. You went into like I think you did finance, was, was it? Yeah, yeah bro, you, I, was, you, I was I was full fledged accountant, believe it or not. So how did how did that end up being at war? <sighs> okay, cool. So I I did my stint mm -hmm. in terms of like just doing different like um finance jobs, got my accounting qualifications, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm -hmm. Um and then I was a uh, um I was a game at the time. I should Actually, I don't think the journey started there, actually. I think the journey started when I was still at uni, but I didn't realise that, right? So mm. when I was at uni, I was fortunate enough to go to the same uni as, like, Kreps. And then because Kreps was, like, in my uni building, mm. he did accounting, I did economics and finance. So I think we had, like, one lecture, I think, that we were all mm. in the same, we kind of shared. Yeah. And off the back of that, um, there was a guy that um, was a good guy called Michael who was, like, kind of like the mutual between crap new Michael, I, I, Michael did the same course as me. Mm. So then he was kind of educating me about what was going on in the London scene. I'm from Leicester. Like I didn't, mm. at that point, I had no clue who crept and Conan were or who crap was. I just, I just knew him as mm -hmm. a guy that's on, that, that I'm doing the same course with kind of vibe or same uni, the same uni as. Then off the back of that, because I started following the, the UK music scene quite, Vivid. Then I just started, I started knew, knowing about like, okay, there's crept on Conan, there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this. Mm -hmm. Then in amongst all of that, you know, I started finding out, okay, cool, there's, there's Cadet, you know, and then me and Cadet just, you know, we met a couple of times, um, just off like events, talking, whatever, met a couple of times, and then we became quite close um, during that time through Ruben, who was his manager at the time as well. Um, so it was like me, Ruben, Cadet, we were just kind of like, you know, having different conversations. And at the time I was at game, um, and then I booked, I must have like, we must have done an event at game. Then we booked, um, Cadet mm -hmm. and then, and then Cadet said, oh, look, can I, can I bring Philly to help me do this? Cause I think Philly, I didn't, at that point, I knew who Philly was, but I hadn't, mm -hmm. it wasn't, that, that's not what it was for. And I was just like, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Let me just speak to, to the marketing guys and see what we can do. And they said, yeah. Then he came and done it with Philly. And then I met Philly then. And the first time I met Philly, he said, no, nah, you need to meet. You need to meet Giovanni and Percy. Because you now do a lot of stuff with the wall. And da, 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 da. that was, and then I said, cool. And then he then kind of kept pushing mm -hmm. for that meeting to happen. Then obviously then the meeting happened. And then, yeah, the rest was this I thought you met Giovanni and Pete before you met Philly. Nah. Nah, really? I met I met Philly through Cadet, and then Philly is Philly was then the person that kept saying to me, "You need to meet Javon and Percy." Percy. And then I met Javon and Percy. I think I booked Philly a couple of times after that while I still at, while I still at game, and then that's how I then got to meet Javon and Percy. We even did like Insomnia together and mm. all those gaming festivals and stuff, and then. And then yeah, and then the he the rest is history. Now we're here. I've never, I know Cadet. I've never. I've never asked anyone who knew Cadet. Yeah. What was he like? Beautiful soul, bro. Yeah. Like the guy, the guy was just such a, you see like when he's, um, when you're in his team, you're in his team, innit? Yeah. And that, and that was kind of like what he was like. Um, and he was just, yeah, bro. Like he was just one of the, like you, there was, mo there'll be moments that would have like a deep conversation about something. Mm. But it was a big, like, because obviously my memory, most of my memories of him were around like gaming. Mm -hmm. uh, such a big gamer. Um, and he just loved, like, bro, he just loved life. And he really wanted, he really wanted it. Like, he worked hard. Like, he, any minute he could, <laughs> he'd get into that car, turn mm -hmm. that phone on and be on Instagram and do a freestyle if he could, you know what I mean? And yeah, yeah. he was just one of those people that, like, again, deserved it. Mm. Like, you know, like, when you see people and you say, so when advice happened and... It did what it did. It's just a shame that he never really got to see the whole fullness of it. Mm -hmm. But I remember messaging him actually the day that advice got released, and I and I think I'd sent it to a couple um, A and R's at the time, and I just messaged him. I said, "You're like I've sent it to this A and R, this A and R. Good luck on you know release day. Let's see how it goes." Mm -hmm. And then as the song started booming, like, there was not amount of money any label could have offered him. 
to, to, to sign that song because it was it, the song had already made that much money. Yeah, so yeah. like you couldn't. There was no really, point. Yeah, there was no point. And then he just, yeah, man, he was just. Um, sometimes it's like surreal to think that like, people like that are not mm. here anymore. And I, and I even remember the day that it passed because I was in, I was flying to LA, and he was going to kill for them. Mm. Sure that he had, and I think we spoke the night before because he was in Winchester, Winchester or Southampton. The night before we spoke, and then I was then on going to LA, and then yeah, I was going to meet up with Jav in LA. Actually, mm. I was going out, I was going out there with Pers, and then yeah, then I was sleeping, and then the mandem just rang me and said, "Yo, have you seen?" Yeah, he's yeah. seen what what Guan and then he was just like we just literally like all of us took a moment and took a moment of silence like rah like this is such a and he do you know what he was one of those people that I genuinely believed would have conquered content and music properly because yeah. yeah. like he he's just such a great he was already doing like the foot asylum stuff do you know what I mean like he yeah, was already yeah. involved in that stuff and yeah, yeah and he was already doing it from like earlier on like he was just such a bro was just such a a big character. Mm. Funny, yeah, just a big character, bro. Talk to me about managing Philly. What was from from the get go? What was that like? Um, I think it's 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 good. You know, it's you you get to learn a lot. Like, mm. I think Philly's just one of those. Philly's one of those people that, like, if you don't know him, it's easy to misunderstand what what he's like and and mm. etc. So, yeah, bro, it was just it was just really good, man. It's like he's um. He's very he's he's very generous when he wants to. <laughs> Actually, most times, sometimes too generous, and sometimes he just doesn't do it the right way, and mm-hmm. etc. And we always have those conversations, and like yo, bro, like you shouldn't, you shouldn't do that, and whatever it is. But yeah, he's just, you know, he he's um he gets into like this really good, um, he gets into like these phases right where he'll come out and say like, right, okay, cool, I want to achieve this, but he's so multi talented that he can do it. Mm. Like you know what I mean? Like it goes right. Okay, cool. We're gonna focus. On, I wanna, I wanna do music, mm. and I'm gonna get. I wanna get. I wanna get a big song. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, talk to me about managing talent. So like, when you manage Philly, yeah, from even from the get go, from the yeah. beginning, did you? What was like the learnings throughout? What was like the hardships of like? Because like, you're, you're kind of like learning on the job as well. Yeah, there's no manual to it. So yeah, you yeah. don't actually. It's no one tells you this is the steps you do it. Yeah, yeah, And this yeah, is yeah. how you shouldn't do it. Yeah. And then it just boils down to the trust between mm. you and the person that you're managing, right? Mm-hmm. Or the talent that you manage, and then that trust is what then builds the business. Mm. And then it's also not putting your putting yourself. Your 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 feelings kind of don't count. They don't matter. You're actually just there to to service that person and to make sure that you create the right opportunities, the right strategies, the right decisions, and you make all the, the things that you, you do, you know what I mean? You do all the right things that you need to do mm-hmm. for for that person's career to have longevity. So it's like even like um, the me- memory that I had with him is so some of our early memories together, right? He, you know, he was early on in the days and then there was a job that came in I think it must have been like, I want to say two two hundred pounds or something, or two hundred fifty, something like that. Yeah. And then I said, "No, nah, can't do it." He said, "No, nah, tap. I need the money." I said, "Bro, no, you can't do that." This was early, early days. Yeah, and I said, "Because if you do that now, mm. I can't never go back to that client and say now it's three grand, now it's five grand. It doesn't make sense. They either can't afford you, so then you set your market price, mm. or they'll pay what you can." And then we speak about that now and say some of those decisions are very pivotal because that same client came back a year later with like five grand offer but had we taken 250 pound a year before they would have been like you here's a thousand pounds what are you talking about you want how many thousands of percent increase it doesn't make sense but you can't hit them with like the numbers that he has achieved so far no you can't because inflation is you can't over you can't like for example you can't make someone pay more for the same thing that they had a month ago, regardless of what the numbers are. Mm. You can't do that. Mm. Like, it doesn't matter whether, like, the biggest... Like, if I go into Selfridges today and um, and there's a tracksuit for £200, you can't then tell me because Storms wore it or whatever, the biggest rapper or the biggest whatever wore that tracksuit yesterday. Now that tracksuit is now... You can't... Yeah. 
do you know what I mean? So it's, it kind of works in the same mm -hmm. kind of works in the same vein. So you make most of the, the decisions. Well, is it more, more Not like together? You, is it together? Yeah, like it's, it's it's a conversation that you have. You, mm. and even wherever you're managing, it's a conversation you have together. And then you say, look, these are my pros and cons. Mm. And they say, look, these are these are my pros and cons. And then mm. you go, okay, cool. What is the best business decision to make here? And what's the best brand aligned decision to make here? And you just take it from there. Interesting. So it's it's uh everything like everything is new mm. in this world because you know. When we started this, there ain't no TikTok. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And now you just got to figure out like how to adapt how, to, how it. to adapt to it. It was pretty much the Instagram wasn't really a thing like that as well. Mm. When we first started this, it was Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then it's like, okay, cool. I've understood the YouTube market. Now I need to I need to relearn mm. the Facebook market. I need to relearn the, the the TikTok market, the Instagram market, and mm. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, talk to me about the time when you were like in in Zim when you were living there. Oh sh damn! What, what were you like? Oh sh. <laughs> Do you know what? Memories of me in Zim, right? Yeah. Part of it is like some of my friends. Like I've got a really good friend of mine. Um, mm. her name is Cynthia. She lives in um, she lives in um in Florida now. She's in she's in the states. And we used to play tennis together and stuff like that. And we're still, we're still cool to, to now, like, I'll go visit her in America. She comes and visit me here and stuff like that. Mm. And she always used to say, like, like some of her memories of me, this is what's good in it, because some of her memories of me is like, you're such an angry child. <laughs> and so, but for people that know me now, yeah, it's kind of difficult for them to ever envision that. Because I've had to like learn how to not be an angry child and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I remember being quite an angry child. I remember being like, a, a perf I was always hungry for the next big thing. Okay. I was always school wise. I was smart. So already, like, you're like from the get go, from the, as a child, you're like, well, yeah, of course, man. Like is, yeah. when you grow up under certain environments, bro, like you, you get, you start building that. I don't want to ever struggle again. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You you build that because you you just and then when you got like schools in Zim are not like here where it's like different areas. We have like kids that well off that all kind of go to the same school. Mm. It's not like that. Like you could be in the same classes, the millionaires, this and this and this and this, and someone's mom who's just, who's just a teacher or someone. Not to disrespect to anyone, but mm. like a teacher versus like a business mogul, whatever it is. All right, you could have that. Like it's very common. They have like setups like that in, yeah, 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 in, yeah. in Zim. And then you see what other kids have, can do, have access to. And, and you see what you have access to. And then you go, but it's not fault of my own. And it's also not fault of my parents if they can't afford it. Cool. Mm. But I want that. And that's what that was always like, kind of like my mindset from, from young. Mm. What was the transition like from moving from Zim to the UK? It was cool. It, Did you find I, it difficult? I, I found the school transition difficult. Right. But I didn't <clears> find <throat> like the the life transition. Actually, no, I'll tell you a few things I found difficult actually. Mm. School was a bit challenging for me because it's like, it's just a discipline. And, like the school setup in Zim is very different to school setup here. Like, yeah. Teachers can hit you. Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, bro. Like, and then if I go home to my mum and say, yo, my teacher just hit me, she hit me more. Like, what have you, what did you do? Do you get it? Like, yeah. like it is that peak. Like, it's, not even it's, yeah, not even the it's, abuse, it's not, like, yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. So, so, and then teachers are scared. You're, like, you're scared of your teachers, bro. You can't, yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. disrespect your teacher like that. Yeah, yeah. And then here I'm like, Fuck you, Mr. Smith. I'm like, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Smith is about to. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then Mr. Smith goes, Go outside, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, and you're yeah. like, is that it? Hmm. And that's it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, detention, yeah. 15 minutes, and then you're like, is that it? Mm. Do you know what I mean? But whereas, like, they're like, I'm even scared that my mum's already been told that I said, fuck you to Mr. Smith, so I'm yeah, gonna yeah, get yeah, beats yeah. when I get home, <laughs> and then I'm gonna get beats from Mr. Smith, and then the headmaster's gonna come and give me beats. I was like, nah. So, yeah. school is very different and quite strict and mm. very forward because when i came here i immediately became the smartest kid in school mm. because like some of this stuff that like especially like maths yeah of like, course i was gonna was, say of course one of them has to be maths <laughs> maths was way ahead bro like yeah, yeah, way yeah. way ahead so that was the a weird transition houses were weird for me bro 
because yeah. yeah, houses in Zim are big. Mm. They're huge houses. So I remember walking in like when I remember landing right, landing at airports. So flipping out, it's cold. Probably wasn't that cold <laughs> Classic, at the yeah, time. Yeah. It was fucking up. It, I think it was around March. Was it March? Yeah, it was March. Mm. We came around March time, um, and then. I was thinking, raw, this place is cold. Then it gets dark quite early as well. And then, actually, no, March was all right. March wasn't too bad. It's getting, But then it was getting dark a bit early. Then it was just, I remember opening the door, right? I remember, like, mum packs up the car. And then we're on the road. I'm like, we leave cars on the road? What area was this? Leicester. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, we leave cars on the road? And then you come out the car, yeah? Yeah. Remember, you park right by the pavement, right? Right, boom. You come out the car, and there's like that much pavement. Mm. And then you're opening your door. I said, where's the gate? Yeah, houses and Zimmer gate. Yeah. yeah. yeah where's like, the gate? Yeah, like, yeah. And then you open the house. <laughs> you're like, is this it? Like, <laughs> this is like such a tight. And it feels tiny because you've just so used to having yeah, bigger space. Yeah, yeah, Everything yeah. just felt. Yeah. Small, yeah, everything yeah. just felt small, and that was one thing that I struggled with a little bit. And then, yeah, and then after that, just yeah, man, I just had to put my big boy pants on and and see life. I've never asked this question. Why do you love math so much? It was the easiest thing for me, you know. Really? Bro, it was the easiest. It's logical. You don't need to think. There's a right or wrong answer. I don't need to just like. There's no justification that's needed. It's either black or it's white. Simple. But your workings though, you're you're working out. That's what you need to figure out as well. <laughs> no, but there is a there is there is a. There, I think for me, like I I like things that have a destination. Okay. It make it just easier to compute in my head. So like, and even if you look at like the way I write shows, right? Even the time that we're together at the wall, mm -hmm. like it's like. So what's the end goal? What's the start? What's the end? What's yeah, the format? Yeah, 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 like yeah. I'm obsessed with. The format, yeah, yeah, because that's and like, yeah, mm. exactly. So for me, it was very, yeah, maths was dead easy. Mm. Talk, talking about coming up with ideas and stuff, talking yeah. talking about the process of coming up with a new idea. How'd you do that? Depends, What's, bro. It doesn't. I don't think it has. Okay, obviously, the, the obvious easy thing is you get a brief. Mm. The brief comes in. You're like, yeah, like yeah, we're gonna. This is the brief, and then we do that, and then you answer the brief mm. creatively. But what, what makes what makes the idea so? What what is it that you're looking for? What, what makes the idea so good for for someone who's coming to you and says, "Look, check this out." What are you expecting? I think it needs to dance off that page. I need to watch it from when you're speaking when you're when you're saying it. Okay. Like I need I need to be able to like visualize do like this when you're speaking. Like, mm. yeah, this is sick. But yeah, it needs to have that element, and I think that just comes from. Culture, being culturally relevant that comes with that yeah and i think that also comes with just understanding the target audience and understanding why they'll be interested in watching what you because everyone I, I guarantee i promise you mm. everyone that's tried that tries to get hold of me sends me dms sends me emails do whatever yeah genuinely believes they've got the best idea and they probably do mm. but probably just not for me but what makes yeah. what makes him not have the greatest idea? It just doesn't make sense to me. Okay. So it's maybe sometimes it's in the pitch mm. and, and you're not telling me what this is mm. or what you're trying to portray on screen. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, I just don't find that world interesting enough or I don't find that world entertaining enough. Mm. And for me, it's like, you know, being from the wall, you've known you've known yeah, legs. Yeah, legs is a thing, right? <laughs> it's like it doesn't have legs. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you still motivate them? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, legs, to, yeah, le yeah. legs, legs is a legs is like Keep a the staple. Motor going. <laughs> yeah, it's a staple of that business. It's like it's like a <clears throat> if it doesn't have legs, it doesn't. It's not gonna go anywhere. For those who don't know legs, tell them what Bro. what's legs. So legs is essentially <laughs> what I see. Now nah, this is me giving too much company. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? But if you know, you know, it's thing. an acronym. Yeah, yeah. That stands for stuff <laughs> and how we get to where we get to. Yes. And also, it makes sense because you say legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's 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 everything that we do mm. needs to have legs. And then yeah. yeah, bro, like it stands for it stands for what we run the business by and what mm. we run ideas by and what everything 
with everything that we do. What do you think is like, but you work in this industry, yeah. but like since working in this industry, is there something you've come across and thought, well, asking what, what the myth is in the industry is, is one question, but is there anything that you feel like, is there a problem in the industry that you'd like to fix? What's um, like a common problem that the, you keep facing in the industry? The, the common like, problem I like to fix is trying to fix all the problems. Mm. I don't want to fix any more problems. <laughs> I want to enjoy the industry now. Yeah. Um, I think there is lack of vision mm. in in some in in some places, and when I say lack of vision, I'm not, I'm not saying like people are like dumb or anything like that. But it's yeah. like understanding. It's like the chess move. It's like, okay after this move will unlock this, and then what do I do after that? And what else can that unlock? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that forward thinking doesn't really exist. Mm. Um, I really like competition. Mm. Like there needs to be more of that. But I feel like this industry is a bit sensitive. I feel like this that. industry was full of um, competition. No, it's not. Really? No, it's not. It's really not. I thought everyone was just battling each other. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's a level of that, but that's not but, the but competition. It's, yeah, it's like, the, for example, we'll why is there only 4.0, for example? Mm. Right. And, and why is it that, like, why isn't it like this? And why is that? Like, you need... Like, you need that so that the best content comes out, mm. right? Like, for, I know for a fact, for, like, if you look at streamers, for example, right? I know for a fact that sometimes the guys at Amazon might actually look at what's happening in Netflix and go, right, we need to come, we need to come harder. So mm. what does that do? It, it gives, a, it creates opportunity. Yeah, yeah. It grows the industry mm. and it creates, like, it allows a lot of stories to be told. Like, there's only so many weeks in a year and if you're going to do premium YouTube content in this country, you're probably like for a client, the best client to do it for is 4.0 right now. Mm. And then when you go to, the, there's only so many shows that they can commission. Mm. Like, bless the guys of 4.0. Like, I love them to death, but they, they, they will never have enough time mm. even to hear all the ideas that I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get it? And yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. so you, you just got to be, not, you just got to be, Comf you just got like the more that there is, mm. the more of those ideas that come out, mm. and the more this becomes, the more you start taking the market share. Mm. But that's why I like competition. But I don't think it's not. I don't think it exists. Originality is a problem. <clears throat> yeah, like I, I, I get so pissed just seeing the same stuff, bro. Mm. Same stuff, different faces, and it's it's worse because some of those ideas I get regurgitated that the ideas that we would have done. Mm. So it's even more jarring, like raw, like we've worked hard to create this format, and then someone just goes, "Thank you." I saw something the other day, and I sent it to Javan, and he was like, "One of, literally looked like one of our shows. Like it looked, really? like, it looked like HP's Western Class. It was, in, it was sad. It was so, it was just so heartbreaking to watch. Does I even think they filmed at the same location? How about that?" I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I can't even say it, but you know what it is. But I genuinely believe they filmed it at the same place. I genuinely believe they filmed it at the same place as we filmed HP's Worst in Class, bro. All it takes is one for one location manager to be like, yep, I know exactly what that is. And then, and <laughs> Pack her bag, boys. Just, but we've had to work hard. Like someone like, for yeah. example, someone like a Chris Bowman or whatever, or someone like Craig or like just picking up a couple of people from the team. Mm. They would have worked their socks off, like even like Ofemi or, or, or Colette. They would have worked mm. their socks off in production yeah, yeah, yeah. to get us those locations, facts, right? Yeah, yeah, facts. For someone to just go, I know the postcode. Nah, come on. I seen, I seen the wall do it. But you know, it's, it's jarring. You're right. You have every right to be mad at that. But at the same time, it's like they've taken inspiration from you. They haven't. They haven't taken inspiration. They've taken what I've done. <laughs> There's a difference between taking inspiration and just taking what I've done. Because I've been like that before. I've been annoyed because I'm like, fuck, he copied me. But then it's like, but but people, even at Channel 4, have told me, they were like, nah, like, you should be happy because I've actually taken inspiration from you. Nah. But, but, everyone, knows the, but everyone knows the wall is original. But everyone this knows is, that that's where it started. This is my point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my point. And, and I want someone else to be original in another world so mm. that I can be inspired by your originality in whatever that scene that you're doing is. Until the idea is too good and you're like, actually, Mike, I have to copy that as well. You know, <laughs> but you know what? I'm dreading. I'm begging for someone to do an idea that good so that I copy it. Mm. Don't get me wrong. There's been a couple of ideas that I'm like, Love oh, that. I really wish. I really wish I came up with that. Mm. But not so many on YouTube, though. 
a lot of the YouTube ideas, I don't feel like that. I think Love is Blind is one show that I, I, oh my God, I'm pissed I didn't come up with that show. That is a good show. Bro, that is That's a, a good <laughs> that, show. That's a but, good concept. But, but do you know what I mean? Like, there's a couple of those that are, flo- that are floating around that I feel like, fuck. Do you know what I mean? Baby Reindeer, I watch that and I think, incredible show. Blue, my, do you see what I'm saying? Like, mm. there's a couple like, I, I get inspired because obviously we, we we are we are in narrative, but we haven't broken in narrative the way we same when we broke digitally. But we're coming, though, fully loaded. We're mm. coming, but it's like now it's when I see that I get inspired. I get inspired to get that story to be better. To get that story to, mm. to I don't get inspired to write Baby Reindeer two. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I watch how he's done it. Like I need I need the character. To feel like this, 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 like the way that woman and the way this guy and then the way this character and the way this character would move in, I want to be able to whatever my character is to make them f- make you feel like that and for you to see that journey. Mm-hmm. That I don't mind, bro. I don't mind. I don't mind people, bro. There was, there were, it even got so peak for us that people were s- you editing videos the same way we edit videos mm-hmm. using the same lower thirds, <laughs> using the same graphic package. I say this is getting stupid. But that's why I don't like about it. But I'll, mm. people tell me to like it, but I don't. I'll be even more pissed if they believe that the person who copied, that's where they think the originality came from. That's what they that's do. That's what get me angry. That's what. But I think. But I think that's what happens. I genuinely believe that's what happens. Mm. Genuinely, I think that's what happens. Do you ever speak up to them and be like, "What the fuck"? Nah, because it's like, I think. You good? Oh, I thought yeah. you were gonna say something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no. I. I. I just. I think. I never. I've never really reached out to someone and say stop stealing my ideas, because do you know what? Do you know why? Because it's like. I'm not just gonna do something. I know you can't. You don't know how to execute. Mm. So yeah, it does work as insp- as motivation. To get bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm. Good luck going out there and do tapped out. I wish you all the best. <laughs> <laughs> go do it shout out, shout out to that as well that's a very good show amazing show the girls yeah, are incredible yeah, yeah, yeah. the clothes are amazing on there Maz amazing yeah. on there Nella's amazing on there and Adiola's incredible can on I, there can I ask you something why is it so difficult to come up with, with a love show like a dating show because there's a shit if it exists it, okay but it's like that's how can why. you okay okay but but make come up with something better than that why is that such a threat to everyone? I'll come I'll come back and do one don't worry brother why is does a shoe fit such a threat to everyone no, I'll come back and do one We've got, we've got, I've, we've got them. I'll come back and do one. I love dating shows, you know. This, yeah, everyone is. Oh, bro, I love a good dating show. What's the best? Does the shoe fit? Aside from that one. <laughs> Fuck. And Love is Blind. Love is Blind is there. The ultimatum is brilliant. Mm. Um, What's another good? Are we talking YouTube? Any. Sidemen Tinder is fucking <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Like yeah, people gonna talk about <laughs> YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sidemen Tinder is an, is amazing. Mm. Twenty View One is amazing. Mm. Um, okay, let's take that as an example. Yeah, how would you make that different? That like Sidemen Tinder. Oh, you're putting me on the spot. No, no. If, if, if you can't answer it, it's just fine. I feel like cause sometimes if you overthink an idea too much. No, but I think I think I think I would I would do it much more simpler. Where it's different people, but the girl that the girl that you're dating, uh, like for example, I'd be like. I'm not. See if I do this. If I someone, say this, here, I, 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 and somebody I, takes this idea. Someone, the person, the person who's inspired by you is actually watching right now. It's like, do you know what? <laughs> Let me take. Some no, but up. I would. But, look, but look, this is location but this managers is, right behind them as well. This is something that we're working <laughs> Just, on. So you have like, I don't think you're over your ex because I feel like dating is topical. Mm. If you don't make da- dating more concise, like directed to a particular topic, I don't believe a dating show will come out of that. Does the shoe fit? Was the lads group chat? That's what it was. It was like, this is what, ha- like, if the mandem could watch you date, what would they do? So you shrink it mm. to, to, to point that out, right? So when you look at, like, for example, I would turn around and say, I don't think I may as over his ex. So this is what I'm going to do. Like, whatever girl he's going to be with, he sees his ex. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to get your ex in a room, mm-hmm. in a different room, yeah. and get you on a date. But your ex has got the girl on a date with, that's fuck, brother. I think I think you should save that. That's in, a bad in, idea. That's in, a, in, in airpiece. That's a bad So idea. she's telling this girl that you think you're on a date with, yeah. what to say to you, mm. and just watch you fall in love, because everything you're falling in love with is what your ex is. Mm. But if for a second you go, nah, you know what? I don't like that stuff no more. 
Imagine she's like, how do you feel about rubbing feet? And the only ever girl that's ever rubbed your feet is your ex. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> of course you're not over yet. Do you know what I'm saying? See, like all of these things that you, that like, all of that is the yeah, build yeah. up to. Yeah, yeah. You're just proving that. And then what happens is like, the girl then, the girl is now there and then your ex is there and then it's like, do you really want to get to know this girl after everything, all the experience, you now know that everything she was saying was coming from your ex. Mm. Do you really want to get to know this girl, mm. new girl, or do you want to go back to your ex? Mm. I see a lot of people running back to their exes from. Circle <laughs> the block season. Nelly's done it. And this time, Nelly and Ashanti. And, 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 and this time he said, you're having babies too. <laughs> you can't get away from me. So it's, Circle the block season. I think once you like, you gotta move on from that. That's it. I think it's too toxic. Is it though? It is toxic, bro. Nah, fuck. Because think about think about why it ended in the first place. Age. Mm. Age, and 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 where you are in life at that point. It's different. Have you ever run back to your next? <laughs> next question. <laughs> Where next question. You, <laughs> next where, question. Where do you where do you get inspiration from? Who inspires For you? what? Anything you do. Work. Who is it that you talk to? Who is it that you talk to that's like Who I talk to? That you learn you like you learn a lot from them, whether that's correct. You know like every no no, do you know what it is? Everybody does. Yeah. Like I can't lie to you. And everyone does it in in, in different in different ways. Yeah. Um Cool. Everyone does it. Everyone does it, and everyone does it in different ways. So there isn't like one, one specific person that I would say inspires me. Mm. Like I, I can't say like my inspiration comes from this person. Or my insp- like I could, like we could be, we could be walking somewhere, for example, and then you just start telling me about like an, mm. like something that like, ever you've been through, or you're doing, or what you what you're thinking, and that will inspire me to do something else, and that would be like right, you know what. That conversation was great. Like I get inspired by conversations. Okay. I don't really get inspired by a person. A person, yeah, if, yeah. if that makes sense. Like I could if watch. You hear like, and it, take it on board. Yeah, I, I'm always listening though. Like I'm always hearing mm. what people are saying. Always listening. Always trying to take things in. But I wouldn't say like one person. Like I can't give you like a name mm. because I'd be lying to you. Because everybody, everyone, everyone that's in my life, I've been so. Oh, glory to God! I've been blessed to 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 be surrounded by a lot of good people. Mm. Um, even if they're not directly in my life, as in like we're not constantly in each other's lives every day, mm-hmm. um, we are diff- like you know what I mean. Like there's 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 a different level of um, there's a different level of appreciation for different people. Like if you look like if you look for example, I'll give you an example, right? Like someone like Ashley. Ashley's there's there's two Ashleys in my life, right? Mm. One Ash is a very good friend of mine, best friend for the last twenty years. I've known him since I moved to this country. Like he's he inspires me in different ways, mm. like the way he does things in a certain way. Then you get someone like Ashley, who's chips manager, who's also like that's Sick. like yeah. old that's like sis to me. That's like my sister. And then Ash is like her tenacity, like bro, she's in a she's in a male dominated industry, and she's got. A, a, a rapper that's been rapping for 20 plus years, or 20 years now I think now it is and you know is known as a battle MC and is known to get to get gritty when it's time and she's managing that in a world that has been told that women can't be in that mm-hmm. that level of tenacity is, is a whole different level so for me now no one can't tell me I can't do nothing because mm-hmm. of the colour of my skin or, or where I'm from or the way so, I yeah, talk yeah. or whatever because if <clears throat> if Ash can be with the goons and doing whatever she needs to do and, and making sure that business is done right. Mm-hmm. The fuck, what's my excuse? Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? And then you look at like someone like, uh, for example, like still in that same circle, look at someone like Chip. Chip's been going for years and, you know, proud, to, you know, actually happy to call him one of my friends and he's still going. Mm. Which you mean I'm out of ideas from? I haven't even... I haven't even started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only course. been seven years, bro. Like, I haven't mm-hmm. even started. This man is double double my time and he's still got albums and this and this and this and last so, time I, last time I caught up with him he's like yeah projects galore this year tough. I've got this one coming with this person this mm, this 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 there's still more to do and, and you're like that longevity I want that so you, I would get that motivation and mm. inspiration from that yeah 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 yeah. 
I think when you see other people working hard, you kind of like want to do the same as it's well. It's a bug, bro. Yeah. Like you surround yourself by people that work hard because mm-hmm. it's a bug. You catch it. It's a good flu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the one I had, but that that flu is a good flu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is a good flu to have. Good flu to catch. I remember when I first walked into war, I think you were, came, can't, can't say the, the name of where you came from, but I think you came back from a meeting. Yeah. And then you were like in, in tracksuit. You were like, you had a matching tracksuit in like a mere man. Everyone in that meet was suited and booty. They looked at me like I was an idiot because I had matching tracksuit. Yeah. And, and they, were, they were trying to listen to, they tried to not listen to what I had to say. But in the end, everyone was just like so silent in the room. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but, it's like, but it's like, but that's, you, you don't, you don't. Oh, you, where was that? I, I, I remember that conversation with you as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, I remember yeah. what you're talking about. You came into the Damn. office so pissed. You're like, how dare pissed. they not even try to listen to me? Because yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing a tracksuit. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I like that though, because you don't even, like what you were just saying, you don't care about the appearance as long as you're in that room with a sick idea. It's a sick idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a sick idea. And then, then after that, I was like, Bloody hell, the ones that wear tracksuits know what they're doing too. <laughs> it's like, damn straight we do. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's that. Mm. It's, it's been a good, man. It's been a good journey. How do you how do you balance like your work lifestyle on that? Like, I, don't, like, like, I, think, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I, that's what I need to work on. And okay. I say to myself, you know what? 2024, mm. this is me. I'm going to proper balance my work, work-life balance and 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 all of these things. Um. Yeah, five months in, I'm still trying to balance it. <laughs> so you don't have like a like an organized time or anything. Like um, no, no, I do, I do. I think mm. now I've got an, you know, I've got I've got an incredible team around me mm. that I feel like they are, they, like the the team at the wall is amazing. Mm. So that's that's good. Um, and then obviously like I'm trying to now move the, the business into the next phase of yeah, yeah, of yeah. its growth and its development, um, which is also amazing, which is, you know, exciting times ahead. Mm. But also like I'm and I and I have to be intentional with blocking the time out. And that's what I've learned I needed to do. And I think I'm I'm learning how to do that. Yeah. yeah. I'm learning how to say, now nah, if I said I'm off on Monday, I'm off on Monday, but it doesn't matter what mm-hmm. it is, come to me on Tuesday. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and I'm learning to do that. But where, where we've come from, where we don't have handouts, we don't have any of that. Like the business, we had to be, bro. Like he said yes to every conversation. Do you know what I mean? Like, and almost yes to almost every opportunity you took because mm. you needed the money to come in and to to do what he needed to do. So there is there is me. Like, I need to kind of let go of those old ways of working because they're not sustainable. Mm. But also embrace the fact that embrace those boundaries and embrace those like yeah i'm off today i'm off today and that's what it is and stuff but it's it's difficult yeah yeah yeah. it's difficult but yeah i don't i, I struggle with that what would you say was is the most what was the most difficult part or is the most difficult part about running wall even even especially like the most hard yeah what was the most difficult aspect of like running wall, even from like the beginning the most difficult thing about running the wall um, a couple of things actually I think one the most difficult most difficult most difficult what would I say has been the most difficult I think just we were kind of first out in the industry yeah like no one was really doing what you were doing yeah 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 so that was the most difficult because mm. you're not learning from anyone above you next to you that's that's done this walk before you're not following little foot you're making all the mistakes as you're going along Mm -hmm. and then that was i think for me that was the most difficult and then obviously almost having to resuscitate the business again Mm -hmm. was that was a difficult time that was a really difficult time um and that was like you know however many years ago that was now but that was a really difficult time and yeah i think that's it i think i find and also you know what lastly it's just people People are difficult, man. <laughs> yeah. People are hard. People are hard work. But in this industry, what, what's like the biggest? What's it? What's a? What's the biggest misconception about you that people think about you in this in this industry? Well, they haven't told me. But let me t- let me think about what I've had. Actually, Lawrence might know. Actually, what have you heard, Lawrence? What have you heard? What's the biggest tough misconception that you know? What have, What have you heard? 
I've heard good things. Nah, surely, so, nah, someone, someone said something. Brother, surely. even when I was at the wall, I barely heard from you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I like this guy was in and out all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That meeting, trying to get this done, move to meet this person, yeah, do yeah, this yeah. and try to do it's this. It's a lot. It's a lot. It is a, it's a lot to so I don't know, you know, I wouldn't know what's, what's the biggest misconception. Or do you think, yeah, no. No, what? I think there's, 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 nah, I've not, I've not heard anything that's, that's come to me as a biggest misconception. I think, what, I think, whatever people think is whatever people think. Mm. And like, I think for me, fortunately, I'm quite confident in myself. I'm quite confident what I'm capable of doing and I'm confident in the team and what the team is capable of doing. Mm. So I don't, I guess I never, I'm never in the rooms enough to hear mm -hmm. the misconceptions if you, if you know, so to speak, cause it's like, oh, that's what you think. All right, fuck you then. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, it's not. Yeah. yeah. It's not a thing. It's not. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. It's all for Dak's back, bro. Like yeah, I've had, yeah, yeah. I've had people try character, you know, assassinate my car. Actually, what? Yeah, I've had people like individuals trying to do a character assassination and say, "Oh, you're this." And, like, come on, man. Mm -hmm. If really and truly, if I was, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. yeah Seven yeah. years later, we wouldn't be. I here. think sometimes so, I, I, someone told me the other day is that when someone speaks bad about someone or their content. It's, it's because they can't fathom they they just don't understand how someone does it like how can you of course bro it's like the consistent i believe that how how yeah do, do, do you know what i'm trying to say even like the whole the cancel culture i don't want to talk about cancel culture but like yeah even there's that cancel culture but it's because they want to cancel because they don't understand how you do it and they're trying to find a reason for you to not do it yeah yeah exactly I, I, yeah like yeah i think i don't misconceptual as i've not i've not heard any yeah yeah no, no. I think if there's any, it's like, actually, no, there's one mm. that I've actually remembered. I feel like people genuinely think I don't have emotions. Really? Yeah, you know. That's interesting. I, I feel like people think that like I just don't feel like I'm a machine that can just, I'm not human. It might be because you're good at not showing it. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Cause I, I I don't really show it because you have a good poker face. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that you know what? I feel like in a casino, everyone's fucked. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, and also you got to remember this, right? I don't drink, and most of my friends do. Yeah. So I've I've had to look like I'm drunk too, <laughs> so that like people don't ask me for lifts back home and shit. Like when I was at uni, I'd put like a, I didn't want to drive any drunk people because the last time I did it, people would throw up in my car. So I'd pretend to drink, bro, but I'm not. Mm. Uh, it's not vodka and whatever it's fucking sprite <laughs> do you know what i mean and 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 then, and then yeah and 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 i'm there like this like <laughs> do you know what i hear this like yeah. and then you're speaking to me i'm like mm. <laughs> well, Loris, what'd you say again? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 but you're also mad. It's like because when you're drunk, you actually do think because you're so vulnerable. You do think that he's actually drunk. You're like, yeah, yeah. so because I'm, I'm in the same way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but but I'm nowhere near it. I've not even I've never I haven't even smelt it. I can smell it on you, but I haven't even smelt it in my cup. Do you know what I mean? That's that that yeah no. But like even like stress and anxiety and stuff. Yeah, of course you have emotions. Like how do you deal with that? Someone who's got a lot going on. You got the management with Philly, running wall. I have a very good. Do you know what it is? I have a very good small circle. Mm. Um, I have a very good small circle that um, that that I trust. Mm. I think my therapist is fucking amazing. Oh, oh okay, cool. yeah, okay, yeah. Sick. I think I think she's amazing. Um, and my mum, mm. believe it or not, I ring Marge about everything. You've met her. Lawrence, in it, like you haven't you ever met her? No, 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 no. So when she came to the office, you're not there. Oh, oh, sad. Like she's <laughs> she's such a like like around my birthdays, like you just you just see the level of like like the level of support, joy. Like she's just she's she's she kind of gives me that little bit of um purpose, and also like weirdly like my grandma as well. You know, I have that, and my uncle. My uncle that lives in Overhampton. Um, that's like just naming a few. 
and those are like and my cousin my cousin that lives in London is like there's just a, just naming a few people but I'm quite lucky to have a group of people that I can I can just sit on and just go you're like you've have you, you've met Tanaka right I don't think so Fry's I met Tanaka who's Tanaka you met Tanaka ever met you ever met Tanaka ever met Ash Raw, that's mad. Maybe, do you know what it is? Because I see, maybe if you see them, I've been there. Because I'm like bad most, with, I'm no, actually most, bad with names. Most events that you probably have seen me on a night out with, I'd have been with them. Okay, then I must. Do you know what I'm saying? I like you must, have have, you must have. And then I think, yeah, man. Like if you, like, I think look, Lawrence will know in there just from being like been in my birthdays a couple of times. Like I've just got a very beautiful family around me, bro. Mm. That with people that have, um, yeah, not everyone is like that. But mm. not every family member is happy for you. Not every family member's got the most genuine, you know, intent. But the one I'm quite lucky to have a biggest pool of mm. people that I like that the yeah, most. Yeah. Um and then the wood still exists. You can have the perfect grass <laughs> in the world, but the wood will still pop up. But it is what it is. Um you just gotta deal with that, cut it off. And yeah. But but I just think I'm lucky to have that. I'm lucky yeah, to yeah. be in that in that in that space. Good support and I think that, that keeps me a bit sane because mm. when I call my uncle, I can talk to my uncle about anything. I can talk to mum about everything. I can, I can go on a date tonight and say, "Oh, mum, the girl I was on a date with today." That we can even just go in and just and just I can't start even talking do that about. With my do you know what I mean? It's like I don't know why I keep. Oh, don't worry. Check, it's taking the time. Really? It's taking, it's taking the time. Oh, yeah, so at a certain age, you no, it's like, no, it's a certain age. Like she just, she just, she just knows that. She wants grandbabies, isn't it? So she's got she's mm. got to listen to the conversations and help me yeah, through yeah, that yeah, process yeah, yeah. of getting a of getting a grandbaby. Because I can't lie to you, because even in my head, I'm like, if I go on a date, sometimes I'm like, I want to tell my mum, but then again, I don't want to. Now I, I cannot wait to tell my mum. Swear, bro, I cannot. Like, I'm I'm you're doing something. I'm like, can I text her? Can I like sneak text and say, mum, you will not believe what I'm seeing here. Honestly, like, I cannot wait, bro. <laughs> I cannot, like, it's weird. Even if it's a shit day, mom can't pick me up. Like, I will do it. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's yeah. so bad that I genuinely think if I text my mom, call me and pretend it's an emergency, I want to get out of here, she'll do it. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, Ma- yeah. She'll yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, even, yeah. do you know what? I don't even think, I think, I know for yeah, a yeah, yeah. fact she'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Like, whatever the situation is, uh, whatever the situation is, she'll do it, bro. <laughs> she'll actually legit, she'll do it. But you know who else I'm actually quite cool with, weirdly? Mm. Um, Philly's mum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, cool. You've, yeah, yeah, yeah. Philly's mum's cool as well. Yeah. Um, See, Philly's mum I've met. See? Uh, yeah. How have you not, this is what I'm saying. Like, this is bad. I've met Philly's mum. I just mom. don't even have clout. Philly's mum is very I'll get there one well. day, guys. I'll get there one day. <laughs> Make sure you follow me. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, man. Like, um, I just have a close knit. Like, a, there's, a, there's a few select people that mm. I let into my world and what really goes on in that world mm. um and i think that world is very um it's very smaller it, it gets smaller each time like and even like maybe even like you bro to have friends like Javan and percy as well because outside of business bro like those, those men are my brothers mm. and we 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 chop it up like if i'm if i'm going through it i'm going through it mm. and then we'll be like yo bro like this is this is what i need and this is what i'm going through and yeah and then we can we can chop it off but yeah i'm just I feel very blessed. Oh, glory to God. I feel very, mm. very blessed to have that. Mm. Have that little nice community. If for those just starting out that wants to be in the industry for content creators. Yeah. What would you tell them? The advice? Just keep doing it. Yeah. Consistency. Consistency. And unluck- unfortunately, it's now an oversaturated market. Mm. So you just got, you just, you just got to rise above it. Mm. Um, trust me and also another thing i would tell them is believe it or not the moment you start getting it right you are on someone's deck in some meeting mm. i've seen myself in decks and meetings that they didn't even think i was in what do you mean <laughs> i've seen people pitch businesses i, I can't i won't tell you who directly yeah, but yeah, yeah. i'll tell you an incident a very good friend of mine um he's an investor um he got sent a deck about an opportunity and then he's going through the deck he sees Taff the wall blah 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 he picks up the phone and goes you're Taff like are you part of I said what are you fucking talking about <laughs> <laughs> he said yeah there is this da, 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 da. I said huh 
It's the first time I'm hearing it. You'll be surprised because everywhere I go, the wall is in everyone's mouths. It's mad, isn't it? It's ev- everyone wants to be like the wall. As big as they are, they're like, yeah, but look at the wall. Look at what they're doing. They don't even know that. It's just some you called Taffle grew up in Leicester. No, I'm joking. <laughs> in and out of the office. Yeah, in and out of the office. <laughs> Every single time chasing the next big thing. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, nah, man. It's, I think it's, uh, uh, it's for me. Do you know what? That makes me a bit anxious. Because mm. I'm like, oh, don't look at me. Like, do your thing. But then, then, it go, but thing, then it but goes, it's also a good thing. But then it goes back to that competition thing as well. And we need that. Mm. I, I, Honestly, like, I want to watch a show and be so pissed that I didn't come up with it. So do you think the, the TV industry and, like, the main, like, content creation industry is lacking that competition? Yeah, bro. Okay. It's the same tones. Same tones. Like, summer's coming. We know what we're going to get on ITV. We're all looking forward to that. Mm. It's Love Island. But imagine, yeah, a world where on ITV... At seven o'clock, there's Love Island, there's Love is Blind on BBC, there is Ultimatum on Channel 4, there is this other show, on, and then you're going, where the fuck do I go to watch this? And it needs to, f- and then I think the viewers deserve that. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. because bro, asking someone to give up their one hour to do nothing and get you paid mm. is a lot. The it least you can lot. do is give them mm. what you're getting paid for, mm. which is good content. And that's what you should be getting paid for. Mm-hmm. So me asking, like even when we're doing this and asking people to stop what they're doing and listen to me and you chat for however long it is, mm. it's a big ask. So if we're not going to give them things that are worth their time. Of course, yeah, yeah. It's then we just, be, we, yeah, exactly. Mm. Exactly, bro. I don't know if I asked this previously. Why do you think l- l- um, dating shows are so popular? Why are they so popular? It's relatable, bro. Oh, Every, everyone. It's relatable. It why, plays are on so, the mind. why are people so invested into other people's like relationships? Because because you can put you can because you can see yourself in all of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a harsh, honest truth, bro. Like I've seen a man go toxic. I've seen a man not be toxic. I'm like, yeah, you remind me of that guy. Yeah, you remind me of me. Yeah, you remind me of mm. this guy. Like you can see it, and also. You want to compare compare yourself as well to be like I, I'm, I'm not as crazy as this guy in a relationship. Yeah, there's an element of that. Yeah, but I don't really compare it. I think I, it helps me learn more about myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it helps me because I'm not I'm not shy to have an honest conversation on myself. Mm. I just don't want anyone else to be in the room. But I, I'm not shy to have an honest conversation on myself and go, yeah, tough, you fucked up there. Or yeah, like tough, that that's good. But actually, you 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 see it from the little things because you can't ever know everything you only know you only know what you're exposed to yeah and yeah. and and from what you're exposed to you only know what you can remember Correct, right yeah. so the more you're exposed to a lot more things the more you can remember more things the more you can learn more things mm. so for me like seeing how other people date or like do certain things it's like it helps me understand why okay cool this is why a girl would feel like this because it comes across like this so I need to be mindful of my tone to not come across like this or come across like that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's less of a comparison, but more of a like, just learning. Mm. Yeah. What are you like on dates? Ooh. What am I like on dates? I don't know, you know. I need someone to tell me. Have you ever me. had a, a really bad date? Oh, bro, I have. What's the worst date you've ever had? Oh, bro, I have. <laughs> I, I got because I can't imagine you on a bad date. Why? I don't know. Go on, oh, this is good. Why? <laughs> why? Why can't you ever imagine me on a, on, a, on a? I can't imagine you doing something wrong. Do you know, I'm human, you know, bro. Have you ever fucked up on a date? Have you ever been like yeah, s- been sat late. there like fuck? I've been late. Leave? I've been late. So oh, Lawrence can tell you all about that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, Lawrence can tell us all about being Lawrence late. Been late on a date. <laughs> so um yeah i've been late um i've called a girl a wrong name no and the lesson i learned from it all <laughs> ladies, <laughs> the lesson i learned from it all ladies and gentlemen is you don't have to use their name on dates uh, um i'm out of that world now yeah yeah dating world is a bit too much for me it's too i'm out 
I'm out, man. I'm just enjoying life right now. It's the way it should be. Yeah, I'm just enjoying life right now, That's man. I'm out. It should be. I'm, I bowed out. I'm out. It's not That's for it. me. It's not for me. It's all be yeah, bro. It's like right now. It's um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we lost the, the moment soldier. of silence. <laughs> <laughs> we lost the soldier. Yeah, <laughs> the poor one out <laughs> for the fallen ones. You know. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aside from does the shoe fit? Mm -hmm. What show would you bring back? Fuck. Good question. It Most could, of the shows. It doesn't Most have of the to shows. be from the from the war channel. Could be anything that you've worked with from other channels. Well, you want free promo? Not doing that. <laughs> um, aside from does the shoe fit? I think Chef Asylum was a hit. Chef Asylum was uh, my least favorite. You know. I remember you saying this when I you were at the wall. Do you know why? Because you don't like cooking. I bro. I I remember you saying this actually when I didn't like Chef Asylum. My Chefers, I loved. I love Chefers, and do you know what else I loved? I love thinking. You know, do you know what? And I'll do it with chunks in it, like thinking you know of music. You see, when me and Chunks used to go head to head on that show, yeah, mm. it was incredible. Elephant in the room, I'd bring back. Yeah, yeah. Elephant yeah, in the room, yeah, I'd definitely yeah. bring back. Um, Truth is on him is good. Bad boy show in it. That's a good, good show. Um, what else did I bring back? What else? Did, I actually like Secret Sauce, you know. Secret Sauce? Okay. I actually really like Secret Sauce. Chef Asylum or Secret Sauce? Ah, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do this for a lot of shows, innit? You're going to start asking me which show I wish. No, no, I, it's actually just one question. It was actually meant to be one question, but it seems like it's gone it's through the wormhole of like all the Chef shows. Asylum or Secret Sauce? Secret Sauce. Secret Sauce is Secret pretty sauce. good. Secret Sauce. Secret Sauce. There's that cultural element to it as well. Yeah, Secret Sauce. There's something, yeah, yeah, I yeah. feel like Secret Sauce was the elevation of Chef's. I think the one thing we haven't done for Does The Shoe Fit is give you the next, right? Yeah. I think we've done it with all the shows. I think we've done it. Chef, Chef Asylum was definitely Secret Sauce. That was the next elevation. Okay. What, what, actually, what, what's the one thing that you've always wanted to ask me but never did? Ooh. If you had one last question to ask me, what would be the <laughs> one thing? Tough, I actually don't know, you know. I wonder what. Okay, cool. What's one thing that I've done or you know you've heard that I've done that you've gone but why did he do that oh my god I actually I swear my, my head is like I know yeah. that's it's gonna be so pissed in it it's gonna get home on and the drive like, home I'm like what the fuck am I asking I'm gonna call him and be like yo Taf do you remember the time when <laughs> 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 what the fuck you can, we can hear is do, 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 do. <laughs> like you had your chance you had your chance you had your chance brother it doesn't work like that my head is actually okay. Gone. What was the what was the worst thing about working at the wall? I like this. You asked me for questions. I give you questions. Worst thing about working at the wall? Yeah, yeah. Let's break it down. Social environment was excellent. The work was great. Come on, man. Greatness only. There wasn't much involvement in terms of like everyone. I remember that the ide ideation sessions and stuff. Everyone mm. got involved. Mm. But everyone, I feel like will allow people. I think I think they might do that now to allow, allow them to come out of the comfort zones to experiment with different mm -hmm. roles mm -hmm. and different opportunities. Yeah. But before when I joined, it was never that. It was like if your job title was this, you have to do this. I think this is a lot smaller. Maybe I think it was a lot smaller because I feel like now, yeah, 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 people's careers just like go whichever way they want to write it. Mm. Um, okay. Is that okay? Do you have a common question that people always ask you about the war that you're like, what the hell? No, you and, and, and it's like a repetitive question. Because you well. remember, I don't do this. Mm. This is the second. This is I don't. I don't do this. Mm. I much rather not speak, and just let the work do something. But I did it for you. 
and do it for my, my other boy. But is it like, is it, is it, so is I don't, it like I don't really, so I don't really like, <laughs> you've never seen, when, when have you ever seen me in front of a camera? So is it, so then is it like, when you see trouble, you just like stay in the shadows, like, hey, fuck it, commenting, commenting on that shit. <laughs> I don't. I don't comment on Instagram. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send it to a few of my friends. And I've got. You're not really that active. I, do you know what? You're an observer. Yes, bro. Yeah, you're an observer. Yeah, bro. I study the game. I'm Here's a my, why do you? Why do you just observe? Why don't you ever like take action? Why don't you ever come forward? Because and... you can't listen when you're talking. Mm. You get it. I can't ever hear what you say. Yeah. Here's my question. Why do you stay silent in most situations? Again. Because whatever I'm going to. Do you know what it is? I look at a situation and I go, okay, cool. What do I want out of this? Right? You've got selective hearing. It's not selective hearing. <laughs> I not? hear everything. <laughs> you got to remember, there's nothing I don't hear. Like, you've, you've, you should, you'd know that from working yeah. with me. Like, there's nothing. I'll then remind you of a conversation you thought I didn't hear later on when you say something else that didn't make sense because mm. the last time you said this. I'm annoyingly that guy, right? Yeah. But, I'll think about it and I'll be like, okay, cool. What do I actually want out of this situation? Mm. Okay, cool. I want um, this outcome. If we're already there, whatever I'm going to say is not going to change anything because I've already got what I want out of that situation. Mm. And I only speak if I don't feel like I'm not going to get what I want out of that situation. Mm. So there's no need for me to speak. Mm. And also, when I do speak, because I don't always speak, you're going to listen to what I have to say. You're mm. not going to go, oh, here we go again. That's all it is. Like, I don't feel the need to just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, we have a situation going on and Pete, this person, he says what he says, he says what he says, you say what he's saying. Then in my head, I'm like, they're all saying the same thing. So what the fuck should mm. I say anything? There's mm. nothing for me to say here. Mm. So I, I'll much rather move on to the next thing. And that's it. Okay. Like, there's no need. Do you know what I mean? Like, if doesn't need to be spoken about if it doesn't need to be spoken about what's understood doesn't need to be explained. but you but you listen though like if someone's like if every you, time but if you think you're right in a certain situation you want to go to be like oh no you're wrong no nah. i'll let you do that to yourself bro, bro. i'll let <laughs> you do you, that to yourself if you, if you honestly I'll you, let you gotta give that. them the benefit of the doubt though you got you gotta hear yeah, but i'll up. let you do that but yeah but i'll let you do that to yourself like <laughs> i'll if someone says, no, 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 for example, someone goes, no, I think a show where two people are driving in a car and then they're fighting is a great idea. Mm. And I'm like, nah, but you know what? It could go like this. No, 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 it's a great idea. I'm like, okay. Go on then. Do it. I'm going to come back all tough. I think I might need a bit of help because the commissioner said, oh, okay then. Then I'll help you. Mm. But sometimes you've got to let people go through that journey. Has that happened to you? Well, every time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so the people have actually come forward with shows and been like, yo, I want to do this. And you're like, no. And they've actually fight. They actually argue back. Yeah. And I said, then don't speak to me then. Go get it done. Have you seen them do it? One, and it flopped massively. <laughs> and the rest have just been told no one's going to pay for this. And the rest have been given exactly the same notes I've yeah. given them. Mm. Some of them have come back and said, "Oh yeah, this commissioner said I should, I should, I should, I should run this past you." Mm. Like sometimes it's like that; it gets like that. But yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. I look at that thing as like it's life experience. I probably there was a time where I had the worst ideas, mm. and I genuinely believed I had the best ideas. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it happens, yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens like that. But yeah, no, nah, that's why I don't like. So I don't, like, I don't really just jump in and observe. Mm. I learn, study. One more question before yeah. we wrap. Yeah. If you had to tell your younger self one thing, what would it be? You're a freaking genius, believe in yourself. <laughs> That's exactly what I tell you. It's not even I should have done this or that. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, you're a freaking genius. You're still a G. Dude, you're, you're like, if I'm to tell that to my younger self, like, dude. Mm. You're freaking genius, bro. Believe in it and own it. Actually, one more as well. Yeah, I love that. I, I love discussions online about, um, you know, the whole Drake and Kendrick beef. Yeah. But Chip's name is getting involved. If Chip had to verse an American rapper, who would it be? He'll verse anyone. 
But if you had to go bar for bar for someone, not 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 not, not, I can't not lie to you. I think look, and I genuinely, genuinely, bro. I I just don't think he's that phases him. Like I think any, like you know, when you've done something for fifteen to twenty years, nothing phases you anymore. It's like look, I've been in this game for like what seven seven years now, and I feel like we have the best ideas. Do you know what I'm saying to you? So you can't then turn around and say, okay, cool. Like, what if you put like this YouTuber and this YouTuber, tough, who's going to... Yeah, let them bring it on. Give me a brief or them a brief and let's let's see who comes up with the best idea. Uh, let me ask you something on that. Mm. How comes you won't make your own beta squad aside, man? There are, they're great. We, what, in I, what way? As, as in like put talents together to create a new... Because you know what it is? You, I think that it's really difficult to make a living off of relying on other people to still like what you started with mm. I think there's too many they layers outgrow. of reliance yeah. and they outgrow right. and if people don't get on they don't get on if they do they'll do it themselves and then my job is to service what they've got and if they decide to go their separate ways I'll, I'll service something else I just don't the headache is too much for me I don't think I ever do that what's the myth or like a misunderstanding that content creators have when it comes to the content creating scene. How do you mean? Like As in like you see how I just said when you put people together. Yeah. You're like it's a, it's a lot of headache, bro. Right, yeah, I, yeah. I so can't. so like how, if if other talents come to you and say the same thing, like how comes you're not how comes I'm not being signed? How comes you like you don't hire me for your shows? Yeah. It's, do you it? know what it is? It's like the biggest myth that I found with people. Look. I've always said my rule of thumb is this. I'll never work with anyone who doesn't want it, who I want it more for them than they want it for themselves. Mm. I'll never do it. Ever. I never do that. Like I can sit down with the talent. They have one viral video and they're coming to me and say, put me on HP's worst in class. But you haven't done another video since your viral video. Bro. You don't want it. Mm. You don't want it. Like, you're hungry for yeah, it. you're not hungry for it. Then I say, okay, cool. You need to go away and da 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 And you don't do it. You don't want it. At that point, I, I resign. You need to nag me, not me nag you. It's the other way around. Because at this point, if I needed to book you, I'll be nagging you. If yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying to you? So it's like, you got to, you got, you got, you, I can't want it more for you than you want it for yourself. Mm. Impossible. Impossible Because even around me Like a lot of content creators They're like huge on TikTok And whatnot, But they always keep telling me Like how comes I'm not getting Not me But like them mm. How comes I'm not getting signed I'm just like But but what's your tone of voice Like what is it What am I signing Do you yeah, know what I mean yeah, It's yeah, like yeah. But even like Sam I was speaking to Sam as well And I was saying the same thing And he was saying how What was he saying He was saying Anyone can get like A million followers on TikTok But where's the YouTube at Where's like, everything else at? Yeah, Where's yeah, yeah. YouTube? Where's Instagram? Where's this? Where's they're like, this? They're like, yeah, that's fine. Like, but it depends. You got to think about it, right? If I'm creating a TikTok show, mm. I'll look at the people that have Big a good TikTok, TikTok presence. Now, yeah. Even just following, just a good TikTok presence, mm. right? And then if I'm doing a YouTube show, mm. I'm going to look at people that have a good YouTube following mm. and a good YouTube presence. It's just, that's just how the algorithm works. Mm. It's like someone I've seen people they're like on one point one M's on TikTok, but then like four K subscribers. <laughs> it just doesn't. Yeah, and yeah, they get both mixed up because they're like they, they sell the huge number on TikTok. They're like, look, I got a million, but they're like, no, forget forget about this batch here. Because no one, because no one on YouTube is looking for you, mm. and why I'm giving them someone that they probably don't want to watch on YouTube because some content creators are amazing, but they're amazing in that shot form content that's like tiktok content but would you ever come forward and tell them that like, be yeah. like mm. i'll tell you like bro like you what you do is sick like mm. there's a lot of talented people yeah and they're sick but they'll be sick at what they're doing i just don't come up with ideas for tiktok like that mm. i'm more of a short long short so i'm more of your youtube series i can still do tiktok ideas don't get me wrong but i mean like that's not my expertise so you coming to me to sign you when I know that I'm going to spend the next 12 months or 18 months or 24 months delivering YouTube shows for this channel, this channel, this channel. I'm not going to have time to sit down and do your TikTok with you because mm. I'm not going to get it. 
Mm. But if you're gonna if you're gonna be doing it on YouTube and we do that, then yeah, of course, let's run because you're part of the ecosystem that's already mm. that's already running. And then going back to like the managing talents as well, mm. what's the biggest myth about that? Is it is it something that you that life have to, is easy? And that is it something Bro, that you have difficult. to yeah yeah it's very it's difficult. A difficult you, you gotta remember like when you manage talent you're technically there for me you're their uncle their dad their brother mm. and their friend and their manager all at once i've heard that i don't know it could be poor management but talent's not giving i think some managers when they t manage talent mm -hmm. the managers have said i've overheard this as well that the talent will have to give back in a way of, um, how do I word this? It's more like, what can the talent do for me, essentially? What, to the manager? Yeah. I don't understand that concept because yeah. it's what can you both do for each other? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And then you're building something together, right? Yeah. You're building a legacy together. You're building whatever, the, we're building a brand together mm -hmm. because... You know, there is the wall, that's the brand, but Taff is the person. Mm. So you, do you know what I mean? In separating that, the wall is a brand, but Javan and Percy mm. are, are people. Yeah, yeah. So how do Javan, Percy, Taff build the wall brand mm. as a brand that stands alone? And then if tomorrow you hear, oh yeah, do you know what? Taff has stepped down as MD at the wall. XYZ is taking over. The wall is still a thing. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like... If Taff steps down, there's no more Taff, mm. which is just what's, what it is. And I think the manager's job is to build that brand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Brother Taff. Thank you, man. I appreciate you for coming on. I appreciate you. Thank that you for having me. Finally, guys, I've made it. I've booked out. <laughs> no. I'm on my man's podcast. Uh, he's finally got me here. Oh, fuck. Same. I think it's because um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's because I was dancing at him again. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm here. But bro, I, think, like, I think there's a reason why I'm here. Can guys. I ever so, say I went to Milan with Naomi Campbell? No, I can't. Hey, that is why I'm on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Could I ever say that? Do you know, it's hard work. You know, you'd, be, you'd never honestly. You'd be surprised what you'd be able to do. Mm. Like I would have never, if you asked me this twelve months ago, and I've said yes. It's twelve months ago. What's your biggest achievement? So far. So oh, far. That's a good one, you know. And then you always look back at back at it and think, wow, I did that. Biggest achievement. <clears throat> mm. Personally or in everything. In every just one in everything. Yeah. I think if it's one in everything, it's definitely by my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for me, I think that was like a big, big, big achievement. Um, I've yeah, never been. Yeah, and that's beautiful house. Beautiful house. Not met Mumsy, not met Ash. Yeah, no invite to the Arthur. yard. Do you see this? And I'm just sitting here like, yeah. And it's 100 episodes later, he calls me. No. <laughs> 70 hey, some hey, Ash. Hey, hey. <laughs> 100 episodes later. He when's, calls it, me. when's the invite to the yard? Birthday. Normally, my birthday is when people come yeah. over. I I do one annual highlight to you though. Birthdays are lit. Show me, man. Ah, oh, birthdays are lit. Did come you come? Through. Did you come to this one, Lawrence? Sure did, yeah. Do you know why he yeah. came? Because he met Naomi Campbell. I'm sure he, he came, right? Naomi Campbell. Sure that's the one. The one that Chip and them like came oh, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's my last one. Well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, my birthdays are lit in it. Do you know what one thing I like about my birthdays? You get my mum, my uncle, me, and my friends vibing. And it just it doesn't feel there's, like there's that. It, there's there's not a better feeling than that. Bro, like my like, birthdays, I I don't know what I think my house is blessed. My mm. house is so blessed that like every, the moment you get the moment you part I live far, you know. I live way out of town. But once you get there, you forget. I appreciate you for coming this far as well. That's brother. cool, man. I appreciate But the you. moment the moment you get there, you forget how far you've come. Mama Jay's give us good food every year. Mm. The drinks are there. Food's there. <laughs> like, <laughs> pretending, it's pretending you're out drunk in your own house. <laughs> it's entertainment. You're, you're, you're 
You see it, and it like yeah. we, we, this year we had the rodeo. Last year with the surf simulator, mm. do you know what I mean? Like it's always oh, like, man's got a whole flipping bro, thing like yeah, back. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the garden is all the little tickets. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, but also like I was worried. This year I was worried because when I built the garden house, I was like, oh, have I taken too much space? But actually, because the, the surf simulator was right in the corner last time. It's still recording, it? by the way. Yeah. Can't yeah, remember. the surf simulator was right in, right, right, right in the corner. And then, yeah, this year, man, the rodeo was right in the middle. I didn't realize how much space the decking and the garden house would would, would have. And oh, were you there when I did my failed uh, fi- firework attempt? Yeah. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Bro, it was no. My birthdays are lit. Birthdays are lit. It's one of those. I don't know what I'm gonna do this year though. It might be one of those that will pause this year. I think I remember your birthday. You do. Which one? So. It's in August. Yeah, of course. Go on. No, but that you've done a lot. He doesn't even know when he is. I've actually done a lot. That was that's enough. And on that lovely kind note, <laughs> thank you for having me, Amir. Any questions for Taf, by the way? Yeah. Anything I've met, anything I've Oh yeah, about? actually, yeah. Any questions for anything? You lot, have you got any any we questions? We've got like a bit of extra time, might as well. What is Young Philly's next? Yeah, what is Young Philly's next? What's Young Philly's next? He needs to hit another. Well, you, 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 what's, if you what, what's Philly's you plan? Might, what's his you know, next you, journey? What's his you, guys, you guys are greedy, you know. Why? What? For this man has been on your screens for so many years, entertaining you. He's got the best song to come out of the UK, this country. Oh, bro, there's more, like you said. Change and, and you bro, want and you still, still want. No, what the question is. No, but I think no. Look, I think um, Ch- Chip is still going. In that, in that, when it comes to that world, I think I think it's a wait and see, really and truly, because you know he's he's got his. Where his would talented. you like him to be? The best and the biggest in the country. Mm. Yeah, bro, who, who he's great. Who's the? In my head, I think it's him. In my head, I'm convinced it's Philly, and obviously I'm biased, but in my head, I'm convinced it's Philly. Definitely convinced it's Philly. No one, no one else, no one could tell me otherwise on that. Yeah, yeah. But don't get me wrong, like, yeah, Sidemen are great, everyone is great, but. And are you going to join Perth and Perth? Ooh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If I started, I mean, of course I've been watching. It's the funniest. Do you know what? The other day, let me see if I can find it. Because I'm going to play it to you, right? I sent this to Philly. Yeah. Where is it? I need to see Where's it. my phone? No, oh, where did I put my other phone? Oh, it's in your pocket. Your pocket, your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can find it. Girlfriend Turf. Because I sent this to Philly, yeah. I'll play it to you. Billy. Right, what did I say to him? It was about Guff and Turf as well. What did I say to him? Oh, I, hope I, I hope I sent it. Yeah, it was this. I think it was. It was this. Listen to this. I said to him. I think the Gaff and Taff YouTube videos are the best YouTube videos on Philly Extra. If you put anything else, it would be shit, so don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like literally. Li- li- that's what I'm saying to you. Like, that, but you've heard it. You've heard it straight. And then I think he's what did what did he respond? Oh, let me make sure this is PG because your <laughs> some of the the conversations get get techy with me and Phil sometimes. Wait, what did he say? Please remind me. Never mind. It's something else. Yeah, <laughs> that was something else. That was something else. Never mind. But yeah, it's 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 they're sick. Gaff and Tough is good. Am I going to join Gaff and Tough? Do you know what? Unfortunately, this year. I haven't been committed to my FIFA. Are you good at FIFA? Very good at FIFA. Really? Yeah, man. It gets it gets it gets personal with FIFA. It gets really personal. But I've been I've been on my career mode, man. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, you needed reassurance. Lawrence, you thought he was doing it for the gram. He thought he thought I was doing it for the pod. Are you good at FIFA? Like um. It gets personal because 
Yeah. Especially when I play Percy, he gets personal. When I play Giovanni, it gets personal. Giovanni, like, even bite, like, his tongue to make sure that, like, bro, it gets mad. It gets mad personal. Mm. It gets mad personal, bro. Like, I've got another question. go on. Have you opened a suggestion box? Senior, well, of I haven't course. opened it yet, but and then I think the last time it was opened, remember I've been. I've been oh, that's the, the the suggestion box. Yeah. is that what he's talking about? Yeah, that's the white one. Yeah. I think oh, recent. Yeah. I think the last time I opened it was before I started traveling, okay, so and then. It gets opened every month. Would you put? I thought maybe I wouldn't see you before I, before you read it. Yeah. But I put in there. Bring the wall of comedy panel back. So I wanna ask you, when is that panel coming back? Soon, man. Um, we just need to. There's a couple of business deals that I need to get over the line. I mean, I understand, isn't it? Because you've been there, right? When, when you've when you've got opportunities outside of a channel. No, but that's maintaining coming. Maintaining no, no, the main channel you, can be. That's coming. That, yeah, no, of course. That's definitely coming back. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, And I think for me, it's it's getting to a space where just the economy is a bit right now. Mm. The market is a bit right now, mm. and it's just fighting for it. And then right now, I'm choosing people mm. to make sure people have got jobs, make sure people have got what they need, um, and then the clients that we're servicing have got what they need. Then at that point. Make a bit more hmm. cash, then yeah, then we're coming. Off topic, that one question was actually answered during the podcast. The one that I had. What was the question? Why don't you have any emotions? That was my question. I do. Though. That was my thought the whole time at the wall. That I, was my one question. You, you actually, genuinely thought I. Had I no, actually genuinely thought you had no emotions. I genuinely do. That's I'm my human. question. Now I but can. But when did when did you clock that I had emotions? Uh, there was a time where I thought you only had emotions towards selective people and not certain people. Serious? I swear to God. Wow. This I feel is like mad. you comforted uh, George one time. I swear to God, in the office, like, something happened. And then I think you were just like comforting him. And I was like, I've never seen that in my life. There's no, bro, like, there's no but way. I think, do you know what? Do you know, I think this I must like, be much for you out. to hear, though. <laughs> I this was like, must that, be mad weird for you to hear. I was like, that's not tough. I've, I've heard things from, like, I've speak to people that work with me. Yeah. And like, I'm able to get them to talk to me a little bit. Yeah. And they've said things like weird, like, it's not weird, but similar things where it's like, I'm like, really? I thought every vibes is good, everything is perfect, but. Yeah. And you know what's mad? It's like, cause no, you, sure. no, no, because he's, <laughs> no, no, because he's had, he's, he's, he's literally been around me and my family and, yeah, yeah, like yeah, everything. So he he, he but, would but, tell but, you but like, the, but the people you work with won't see that. They will never see that. But I think, Maybe. But I also think it's good. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you wanna, if yeah, you uh, be yeah like, but also, of course you gotta separate um business, work business, with business, yeah, because yeah, yeah, and also yeah. you gotta think like, that's have, that's that's normal. Because you know what my mentality is: if money can solve it, if we just need to do something to solve it. If money and time can solve it, it's not a problem. So I don't get emotional over, like I wouldn't get emotional over the fact that, oh shit, we 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 lost this and we just need to, we need to do a reshoot. Why am I getting emotional about over that? Mm. It's just it's just booking a reshoot. Oh, we don't have money. Okay, let's go find the money. Like it's very like mm. quite simple like that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like it is. <laughs> It's like a grumpy uncle. <laughs> yeah, but it, but it is it is that quite. But it's mad. Do you know what it is? It's quite mad weird that I don't know where I got I get that reputation from. But it's but it's helping you grow though. I hear you, but like, it's good and bad at the same but, time. But I don't way, know. But, but it's like, but where do you think it comes from? I have no, bro. If I knew, I'd ask. No, 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 no. <laughs> but no, no. But as in, like, this is good. This is a very good conversation. Yeah. Actually, where do you think like the the notion of like no emotions come from? Like, where do you? What do you think that is? Is it because, is it because people don't see me enough? Is it because what do you think it is from your perspective? What not seeing enough could be one aspect. Yeah, could be one. Another one would be. I can't think of one. Another one. 
I think you, at the when we were at the war, sometimes when it came to like difficult decisions, it was just more like the way everyone would get emotional, but then you'll be that one guy be like. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, but this is my point, right? It's it's like you you have. I can't to. think of another one, but yeah, another one might be your. I think it goes back to what you said in the beginning of the podcast. It's logic because you answer everything with logic. That's not really linked. Logic and emotion. They're not linked. So people would take. It that's a good take. Emotion. Yeah, logic and emotion. They're not. Yeah, because it's like I don't. It's business at the end of the day, and I'm not going to get emotional of a business. Like, I, like, do you know what it is? I feel like it's really difficult, right? Where you try to balance, I can care about everyone mm. and make care less decisions about the business mm. and jeopardize everyone. Mm. Or I could, care every, I could care about everyone and make careful decisions about the business and then people receive their care through the results of the good decisions, right? Mm. So you got to, as a leader, sometimes you've got to choose what you want to, what, what sword do you want to as a creative use? for about me anyway as yeah. a creative i yeah. get emotional because i'm a perfectionist when i when something's not going Bruh, my way do you think i'm not a perfectionist no no of course but you've seen do you know what i'm saying like you've of seen course, how much i course. hate a type or how much i hate all of these things but at the end of the day it's like shall i cry because i may have made five mistakes or mm. should i sit down with me and say would you need help with to make sure you don't make another one so, but you got what i'm saying to you like Stop it, man. <laughs> but you see, you see my point. It's like, I just look at it quiet. But can I tell you something as well to add on that? Yeah. I've worked with people, I can't mention the names, but I've worked with people, the ones who don't really get, actually, I could be wrong. Go on, I want to hear this. I've seen people who are not emotional are always at the top. No, not always. You have to Majority of the throat. time. You got to be cut throat. That's not because we're not emotional. Which is logical. Like we think with logic first. The thing is like you present me something and I think about how to solve that. And then I'll care and then mm. I'll come back to how you feel after. Because you gotta remember the immediate thing we need to do is solve this problem, right? Mm. Then after that we can then bring you back up to speed. Mm. Cause like you're not telling me you're ill. You're not tell like I feel like the there there hasn't been anyone that can till now there hasn't been anyone that's ever worked at the wall mm. and turned around and said, oh, I went to TAF and I said, look, I need to take some time off because I'm not feeling well. I'm mm. this, 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 and I wasn't supported. Mm. No one will tell you that. Mm. No one will tell you that I've never sat there. With, I never, like, and no one will ever tell you that I never asked them things like, what do you need me to do for you to make sure that you're good? Mm. And not in a way of like, a, I'm ticking a box. Mm. But me even suggesting things like, what about this? Why don't we try this? Why don't we try that one? Mm. No one will ever tell you that. Mm. that i never done that. You do do that. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm. So you can't then say I don't have emotions. Mm. I just don't play to the little where it's not needed. I like the... the... You good? You good? We can, we can rap, if anything. If it's... If it's... If, yeah. Okay, how long cool. you got? How long you got on the card? Oh, yours are all done. I can't come. We'll wrap up quickly. Um, so th is that camera dead? Yeah. No. Is it still going? Yeah, yeah, all of them, man. Cool, brother. Taf. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for coming on. This has been fun. I appreciate it. Uh, after like a hundred episodes, but I made it. <laughs> Mama I made it. Uh, uh, do you know what? I'm gonna do a little montage like a tap throughout the whole episode. Finally, I'm on the episode. Finally, finally, yeah, finally yeah. hundred after episode. You know what? Finally, the, finally, the, finally. I think finally, you're gonna honestly look. I think I think you're onto something sick. I think keep at it. Um, appreciate it, man. Yeah, Thank man. You, man. Remember, I told you from when I even when I when I, I can't remember remember who you had on the first episode that you did. Well. Bro, even Lish made it before me. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, I can't remember. I Lish, think actually, I didn't think Lish's episode would go anywhere, but someone, the, the um, what's that documentary called? The the Fall of Chicken Connoisseur. Yeah. That big, huge documentary on YouTube. Yeah. They used a clip of um, Lish. Of Lish a, took it, yeah. And put yeah, it in the documentary. Yeah. It's like, oh, this editor for the Chicken Connoisseur said this yeah, on the yeah. It's like, I was like, the fuck? Not even a credit. Not even a me. But which is fine. 
a little podcast got it. Ah, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the brand. Yeah, it's the yeah. brand. No, honestly, bro, like you're doing yeah. well, man. You're smashing it. Appreciate it, man. It. Means I'm a lot. super proud of you, man. Appreciate it, man. I Thank remember, you. I remember me coming in as an intern to now where you are. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like I'm proper, I proper appreciate you, man. And yeah, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, man. It means a lot. I appreciate I'm it. I'm gonna be the first guest to do a comeback. Bro, guys, follow Taff as well, man. I'll hey. leave, I'll leave a, um handles in the I can't even speak anymore. It's a long day. I'll leave, I'll leave the link to his handle down in the description below. Guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all of you. Love you. Love you. Bow, 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 bow. Thank subscribe, you. subscribe, subscribe. Thank you. It's like um, a common problem that you keep facing in the industry. I really like competition, but I feel like this industry is a bit sensitive. I feel like this that. industry was full of um, competition. No, it's not. I'll never work with anyone who I want it more for them than they want it for themselves. They have one viral video. They're coming to me and say, put me on HP's worst in class. But you haven't done another video since your viral video, bro. You don't want it. Talk to me about managing Philly. For this man has been on your screens for so many years entertaining you. He's got the best song to come out of the UK this country. Why is it so difficult to come up with, with a love show? Because there's a shift it exists. Come up with something better than that. Originality is a problem. I saw something the other day and I sent it to Jivan and he was like, literally looked like one of our shows. Really? Looked like, it looked like yeah. HP's worst in class. It was, it was just so heartbreaking to watch. Filmed at the same location, how about that? I think I know what you're talking about.